How many welfare cheats does the government believe there are out there? Well, at any one time, there's about a $3.5 billion debt to the Commonwealth, and that can be through fraud, non-compliance, misreporting and the like. So we've estimated that we should be able to recover about $2 billion of that uh, through newer technologies, smarter technologies, more efficient ways of doing things, new systems, new alignments. So it will of course uh, depend, but we think that $2 billion is a fair estimate. As I said, at any one time there's a debt of about $3.5 billion from those three sources of misreporting, non-compliance and fraud. If you can recover that $2.3 billion, I think it was that Scott Morrison said you can, on uh, cracking down on welfare cheats, if it's that simple, why haven't you done it before now, say two months ago in the budget? No, we have been continually reviewing this, but as new technologies come on board, as there are new efficiencies, new ways of managing things, new systems, this happens in many businesses, you are continually um, upgrading your performance. That's what we're doing, and we believe that there's um, over $2 billion to be saved, as Scott said, about 2.3, but at any one time, there's $3.5 billion. That's the estimate. So I think it's conservative, and I think it's doable, and that's why we're able to improve the bottom line by, by $1.1 billion compared to Labor's increasing the deficit by $16.5 billion.